Good evening, everyone. The 32nd annual Upper Peninsula Basketball All-Star Game brought the best players from all corners of the UP to Marquette. The boys game would feature four of the five starting state champion Jets and all five members of the Dream Team. The South team would wear white in the contest, signifying that they were the home team. Early action, Trent Bell guarded heavily. North Central's Jason Whitens the rebound on the miss, and he races down for the layup. The future Western Michigan Bronco had 18, and the South had a 15-9 lead. But fellow UP Dream Teamer Dre Tuminen kept his team alive with that deep three. The future Bay College North had 22 points. Team North led 32-28, but Team South would look to regain Gained the lead in the second and out of the gates they went on a 9-0 run including this reverse layup from Carson Wonders. The future NMU Wildcat had 18 points. Brad Nelson needed an answer from the north side. They get it from Pickford's Derek Eddington who rains down a triple. Eddington recorded 15 points. Team North trailed 43-35 but the south answered. Marcus McKinney finds Norway's Justin Ball for the triple. Ball finished with 17 points. Team South up 48-37. But the other way, Ryan Alapso was having a lights out day from Sault Ste. Marie for three there. He scored 20 for the Team North and cut the lead here to 12. Jump to the third quarter, Brad Nelson had to turn to a player. He had to try and find a way to guard all season. That's Nagani's Trent Bell who makes that one there and gets the foul. He finishes with 28, but the, 20, or the future Michigan Tech Husky is outdone by a future teammate and Adam Mercier's three-time state champion Dawson Bilski lit up the scoreboard with 34 points, including that transition three. Bilski's 34 points helped lead the South to the 126-116 victory and earned him the MVP, but it also helped snap coach Adam Mercier's losing streak in all-star games. We just came out to have fun today. I mean, get the best players around the UP, play against each other. It's a really, really fun day, especially yesterday too. We all got together, hang out, both sides, like the South and the North team. It's a great feeling. When I came out and I hit a couple threes to start off, I thought it was going to be a fun time. And everyone was distributing the ball very well, so everything we had was wide open. Well, I think the kids played hard today. You know, they played great defense. They rebounded the ball and pushed the ball in tempo, and it made it fun for the fans to watch. And that's what it's all about. I think they enjoyed their weekend and they came out healthy. Dawson's put a lot of time in his game the last couple years, getting ready for Michigan Tech. And uh, Michigan Tech's got a great player coming. He'll be up there next week, and he's excited to play. And him and him and Bell look really good. AJ Wisnick of West Iron County added 14 for the victors. Be sure to tune into your TV6 Late News on Sunday night as we'll bring you more action from the girls' side of the All-Star Game. Well, Northern Michigan University has announced the ice surface at the Barry Event Center will be named after the first head coach of the Wildcat program. The mesh cutouts were installed this week. Conley spent 26 years with the green and gold, earning 538 victories during that time. The Wildcats won their national title in 1991 in triple overtime thriller over Boston University and also came close in 1980, including his coaching stops at Lake Superior State, NMU, and Michigan State. Conley has 783 wins over 38 seasons. That still puts him in the top five for victories at the collegiate level with two national championships. The other one was at Michigan State in 2007. Conley is grateful, though, for those who helped him achieve this recognition. Yeah, my son, Rick. And Larry were the two key guys who got it going to Tom Peters, who obviously the best person I've ever worked for. And just to have your friends involved and, and wanting something like this to happen. And I miss Larry tremendously. And he was so good and so loyal to Northern in so many ways that he'll be he'll be a big part of this forever. You have such great memories you know, over the years of things that transpired and how the program grew and the success it had. And you know, even though we don't live here anymore, it, it's it's a big part of our life, always will be. And so it's a tremendous honor. The official dedication and ceremony of the Rick Conley rink will be on October 7th when the Wildcats host Lake Superior State. He was inducted into the NMU Sports Hall of Fame in 98 and the UP Sports Hall of Fame in 2013. Let's jump to the scoreboards quickly. The Gladstone Indians swept the Marquette Blues in Legion action 5-1 and 10-0. And the Menominee Red Wave defeat Nagani 10-0.